Hello and welcome to Fast Tutorial, the show that teaches you how to quickly and painlessly mod your game. My name is A.I. Elias, I've been modding since 2013, and today we're going through the process of installing an ENB. As always, remember to like and subscribe if you find this content useful. Throw any questions you have in the comments, and check out the description for timestamps so you can skip around the video. Okay, let's get started. Frequently Asked Questions What is an ENB? ENB is a graphical enhancement to Skyrim that changes how the game is rendered. Using presets, users can change the post-processing of Skyrim to make it look more visually appealing. How does ENB differ from a typical Skyrim mod? ENB does not contain any plugins or data for the game engine to use. All effects are created outside of that environment. Because of this, ENB is installed in the root Skyrim directory rather than the data folder. Can I uninstall an ENB mid-playthrough? Yes. Because ENB does not contain any plugin or data folder files, ENB does not affect your mod load order. Therefore, it is safe to uninstall, reinstall, and modify at any time. Important note. Because ENB presets are often designed with certain lighting and weather conditions in mind, be sure to install any prerequisite lighting and weather mods your preset calls for. These can be found in your presets nexus description. Do this before moving on. Installation. First, find the ENB preset you want to use on Nexus. Obviously, search Skyrim Legendary Edition presets on the Skyrim Nexus and Special Edition presets on the Skyrim Special Edition Nexus. For this tutorial, I am using the Ruddy preset on Special Edition, as it is a community favorite. Once you've done that, read the description to find out which ENB binary version your preset uses. Ruddy requires the latest. Now that we know which ENB version we need, we can go to the Skyrim Special Edition ENB Dev Download page. If you're playing on Skyrim Legendary Edition, go to the regular Skyrim ENB Dev Download page. Links to both down below. Click on the version number you need to install and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Then click on the down arrow to start the download. Once the download finishes, open up the archive with the program of your choosing. I am using 7-zip. To ensure that no excess files are installed during the installation of ENB, follow the directions on your ENB Presets Nexus page. As you can see, Ruddy only requires d3d11.dll and decompiler 46e.dll, so we're going to copy those files into our root Skyrim directory. We can now close out of the archive. Next, we need to install the preset itself. Go to the Files tab of the preset you're using and download the version you wish to use. Note, if your preset does not rely on weather or lighting mods, you may only have one option. Because I'm using Obsidian Weathers, I'm going to install that option. Even though this file is for ENB version 0.381, it should work fine with the version 0.390 binaries I downloaded. As a general rule, try to find the closest matching ENB version to the one used by your ENB preset. This will maximize compatibility. Open up the archive of the preset you downloaded and read the README file if it is included. Follow any preset-specific directions they may contain. Ready has two folders, one with the core files we need for the Obsidian Weathers preset, and one with optional features we may want. Most ENB presets are set up like this, but don't be surprised if yours looks different. The first thing we're going to do is install the core files needed for the preset to function. For Ready, that's the ENB series folder, enblocal.ini, and enbseries.ini. These are what are used by most presets. Copy the core files into your Skyrim root directory. If your preset contains additional core files, copy those over as well. Now, go ahead and add any optional features you wish to use. The installations of these vary, so consult the preset's readmes, nexus description, and post tab for specific installation instructions. As a general rule, all loose files here, except for ESPs, go into your root Skyrim directory and overwrite when prompted. At this point, we are just about done. Adjust any Skyrim.ini or Skyrimprefs.ini values your preset calls for. Ruddy wants us to set F Gamma to 1 and B Draw Land Shadows to 1 in Skyrimprefs.ini. These are both located in Documents, My Games, Skyrim, or Skyrim Special Edition. Open the files in Notepad and set any specific values according to your preset's description. Note that Control F allows you to search the documents for specific text, making this process easier. MO2 users, adjust any.ini settings in your any editor found under tools. The final thing we need to do is disable some of Skyrim's post-processing effects. These are different between Skyrim Legendary Edition and Special Edition, so consult your preset's description if you are on Old Rim. Open the Skyrim Launcher, then hit Options and Advanced. Untick Screen Space Ambient Occlusion. Ruddy also wants us to untick Snow Shader and Lens Flare, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Adjust any other launcher values specified by your preset's description and exit out. 
Congratulations, if you followed any other directions in your presets description, your ENB preset should now be installed correctly. When you open up the game, you should see an ENB version number in the top left of your screen. And if you press your ENB menu hotkeys for Ruddy, that's Shift plus Enter, an ENB menu will appear. This menu allows you to toggle settings like depth of field, black bars, and many, many other settings, basically further allowing you to adjust your ENB preset to fit your tastes. Just be sure to save it when you make any changes you like. Press the hot keys again to close the menu, and you're golden. Your game should now look much more visually appealing. Did you like that video? Awesome! Go down below, like, sub, and comment. It really helps me get more videos like this one out there. Check out the description for a link to my Discord. We have an amazing Skyrim modding community over there, and it's a great place to ask modding questions and have discussions. Click the top video to learn what this channel is all about, and the bottom video to go to my Skyrim 2019 modding guides. Catch you in the next one.